And certainly you could become the first uh, Indian senator in U.S. history, which would be quite an accomplishment. Not good. And you ain't black. <laughs> But there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like, hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in, buckle in, and let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay. Party people, weirdos, <laughs> welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What's going on, weirdos? What's going on? Do you remember um, when the Secret Services claimed that they lost all these text messages on January 6, 2020. Amid a swirl of controversy over the agency deleting nearly all of its text messages from January 6, the agency says that was due to a data migration. System migrations happen. But I think for a lot of Americans, it just doesn't pass the smell test, given the timing and the volume of messages deleted. Well, it's unfortunate that that would be the assumption that people would make. Our integrity is everything, and there was nothing nefarious attached to that. Mm -hmm. They said it was a systematic migration. All the Secret Services lost their text messages, so there was no text messages gone. Poof. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right? So, to prevent that from happening again, you would think that the Secret Service will beef up their technology. You don't want another insurrection to come around. You don't want these old ladies with blue hair coming over and taking over the government. So to prevent all that, you want to beef up and have the fastest, best communications between each other. Right? Cool. July 13th come around. And once again... All the Texas messages have been disappeared. Jeff, does it not seem strange to you that the Secret Service that was reminded repeatedly and knew the official protocol, do not delete these messages, that mm -hmm. still they chose to do it? Is that not telling that the content of what was on those texts was worse than what they would face by deleting them? What a coincidence. Russell Fry, Congressman Russell Fry, Ask the director about this, and she says this. Let me ask you something else. Uh, does the Secret Service routinely record communications between and amongst detail? Radio communications? Uh, any communication. Well, email communications are uh, captured as well as uh, text messages. And then depending on the detail, uh, radio communications are recorded. Does the Secret Service have recorded communications from the July 13th event? We do not have radio communications from that day. Unthinkable. Unfathomable. That twice, when it comes to Donald Trump, the Secret Service, the best protection on God's green earth, has lost text messages between each other. They can't find them. It's gone bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Uh-huh. So while we try to figure this out, meanwhile, we have people still talking about cat ladies. Charlotte's cat woman? I am a child's cat woman. But I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> Bring laughter on. You know? Yeah, what else? Yeah, what is your message to Vance? <laughs> now, it only had been a couple of weeks since this attempt happened only a few weeks ago, and already the media is trying to scrub the story. They don't want you even... Matter of fact, if you try to Google Trump assassination and see what pops up, Kamala. You know, the Q on the Google, you just got to put a few letters in and it have a whole Q pop up. With the Trump assassination, you have to type the whole thing in. They don't want you finding that. 
They're trying to scrub the story as if though it never happens. And I fear that Trump is not in the clear. The Secret Service did not fail to protect them. The Secret Service failed to delete him. And I still believe they're going to try it again. They don't want nobody to find out about this. They don't want you talking about this no more. If you see his picture, the iconic picture of him with the flag, they scrubbing that off. Facebook is scrubbing that off. You know, the hatred for this man. For what again? Today's ceremony, however, has very special meaning. Because today, we are not merely transferring power from one administration to another or from one party to another. But we are transferring power from Washington, D.C., and giving it back to you, the people. Yeah, they want Miss Harris to be in so bad because we all know she's a puppet. We know she won't have her own thoughts. We know that already. She'll do anything and say anything. I, Kamal Harris, and your Democrat candidate for president, because Joe Biden finally exposed his senility of the debate. Thanks, Joe. I was selected because I am the ultimate diversity hire. I'm both a woman and a person of color. So if you criticize anything I say, you're both sexist and racist. I may not know the first thing about running the country, but remember, that's a good thing if you're a deep state puppet. I had four years under the tutelage of the ultimate deep state puppet, a wonderful mentor, Joe Biden. Joe taught me rule number one, carefully hide your total incompetence. I take in significant things and I discuss them as if they're significant. And I believe that exploring the significance of the insignificant is in itself significant. Talking about the significance of the passage of time, right? The significance of the passage of time. So when you think about it, there is great significance to the passage of time, and there is such great significance to the passage of time. Another trick is trying to sound black. I pretend to celebrate Kwanzaa, and in my speeches, I always do my best Barack Obama impression. So hear me when I say, I know Donald Trump's type. And okay, look, maybe my work addressing the root causes of the border crisis were catastrophic, but my knowledge of international politics is truly shocking. The United States shares a very important relationship, which is an alliance with the Republic of North Korea. It is an alliance that is strong and enduring. And just remember, when voting this November, it is important to see what can be unburdened by what has been. And by what has been, I mean, Joe Biden. Do you think the country went to sh over the past four years? You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Gillette. Man, so that's my thought for today. If you guys got any value on my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you Secret Service, get your ass off my lawn.